This is what you'll need to complete the embellishments and mat, photo mats in your flap book. These are the three pieces of paper that I'm using from the pad. This one has all the different um, little um, tags like on it. The next one has the numbers on it, the countdown. And then the last one is the one that has a little bird in the corner. And um, those are the three that we're going to be using. The next thing that you're going to be doing is um, making your mats for each page. And also the other thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out three stockings from um, Christmas cheer. And um, we're also going to be using this um, from our tag paper to do our flap inside. And um, I'm going to go ahead and give you the measurements right now. And then when we get to that page, we'll go ahead and put it together. Um, first of all, like I said, you will need the stockings. And they are cut at 2.5 in height on the Gypsy. And I cut them out in the burgundy color. And the burgundy um, color comes from the bird paper. And I'm also using just um, scrap white that I had to um, do the layer. You will also need a little bit of um, baker's twine. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you all the different pages. And then when I get to this page, we'll put those together. On the first page, I decided to title my um, flat book, 12 Days of Christmas. And the 12 on this page is from the Martha Stewart Seasonal Cake Art um, cartridge and it was cut at 0.63. The days of was cut from the robots cartridge and cut at 0.51. The Christmas was cut from hoot and holler cartridge and was cut at 2.59. Okay we're gonna go to the next page. Oh and then what I did is with this piece of paper I cut out 1 through 12 and I put them on each page inside of the flat book and I'm going to go ahead and show you how we did that. Okay, so this is our first page and this piece right here is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Page two is cut out at four and three quarters by four and three quarters and it was a pre-cut uh, mat that we've already done. And this right here is one of the tags that um, is on our paper right here. And then what we have on page three, the mat there is three and a half by three and a half. This will be four and five. And what I did was I made, um, I used the tags and I put the number four on it. And then I also used some ribbon, and this ribbon is actually seam binding tape that you can buy, and it matched perfectly with um, the paper that we're using. So like I said, I did the five, and I did the four. And then um, photos will go right above that, or you, and you can even, what I did is I left a little bit of the, um, oh, not this one, I didn't. I left a little bit of the tape loose so I can slide my pictures down behind there if I want to. And then you go into the pocket. And again, that was number four and number five. And then you turn the page and you have number six. And what I did was I cut out the Merry Christmas from around this page. And it's upside down, but it was at the bottom of the page. And what you do then is cut out some vellum. And the vellum was cut at two and a half by three and a half. And again, I'm just going to put a picture in the center of that. Then we have the number seven. And again, I did the Mary on this side and the Christmas on this side. And this piece of paper is the back side of the bird paper. And it is cut out at four and a half by four and a half. Then we're to the flap with a poinsettia on it. And this is where we're going to be using the stockings and I'm going to go ahead right now and show you how to do that but this mat right here is cut at four and a half by two and three quarters so I'm going to stop right now and start showing you how to do the stockings 
Okay, so I just added the layers to the top of the stockings. The other thing you're going to want to do is cut out uh, three lengths of Baker's twine. Mine are red and white, and I cut them out at five and a half inches. Once you do that, there's a little loop at the end of the stocking, and you're going to loop that through, and so you have a double, so it looks like this. And the other thing you're going to want to do is on your flap page at the top, you're going to put some double-sided heavy-duty tape. Your stockings are going to be hung on that tape. So I'm going to go ahead and put that together so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so you're going to want to put your um, stockings right on that double-sided tape. And obviously these are a little bit too long. I probably could have cut them at 5 inches. Um, so I have to trim that off so that they don't hang over the edge. Because then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take that Visions of Sugar Plum and what I did is I cut that down so it's one and three quarters by three and a half. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to tape that onto the top. And then once I tape that onto the top, these will be stockings that will be hanging um, when you go to open it. And that's kind of like what it'll look like, just like that. And then your picture will go down here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to show you the rest of the book. Okay, one other thing I wanted to say is, um, before I adhered this, I went ahead and, and did some more tape on the top of the Baker's Twine. And the other thing is, you could also add names if you wanted to to those stockings by using your white opaque um, pens. Um, but again, just wanted to show you that's how it looks. And when you go to fold it, obviously it's going to kind of stick, so you're going to have to fold them under so they'll fit back down. Um, so I'm going to continue, like I said, with the book. And on this one, which is number 9, um, this was pre-cut, and it was our 4x4, four four. and I think I've already showed you to put that one down. But I'll just go ahead and tell you again. And then, let's see, our next page. Oops, I got my, my thing dumped the wrong way, sorry. I'll get that fixed. Tuck in my stocking. And we are on to page 10. And page 10 was also pre-cut. It was a double mat. And we had one that was three and a quarter by five, and we had one that was two and five eighths by four and a quarter. If you check out the papers that you have left and you flip them over, you'll be able to see which paper that you need for that section. The next one is page 11. And remember I told you to fussy cut this a little bit so you would have this border on the side. Um, what you do for this one is before you put it down, you put a ribbon. And again, I used my um, seam binding tape that matched. And um, this one was pre-cut at five and a quarter, or no, I'm sorry, five by four. And that one is placed there. Um, and then number 12 is also pre-cut that we've already cut. Again, remember to flip your paper over if you want to know which one it is. It should probably be the last one left. Um, and it is four by four and a quarter. And then our next page is the flap that comes in. And we had already made this. And again, I didn't put any anything inside of this, but pictures, again, are supposed to go on each side. And you can mat your pictures if you want or just place your photos in there the way you want. I also cut this out from the numbers um, page of paper that we had. And at this point, um, other than putting my photos in, and I might add a few snowflakes punched out or cut out snowflakes, this is what your book should look like. Again, you can also add to the back of the book if you want to. At this time, I didn't. So just wanted to give you an idea of what you could do. And uh, I hope you enjoyed making this. That's it.